Hello, this is the Jurassic Expert here, back with another Jurassic News video. Some stuff uh, pertaining to Jurassic, some stuff pertaining to dinosaurs, some stuff just completely random and don't really belong in the channel. <laughs> but I still wanted to cover them anyway because they're things that I like. Um, so some of this news is about a week old, some of it's a little bit more than a week old, but... I still wanted to cover it. So, first of all, someone has actually found the uh, wave, uh, some of the, the rest of the uh, Snap Squad Velociraptors. Uh, and some people have even been able to find the wave too. Honestly, I've only been able to find wave one on Amazon, and, and that was about it. I don't even know where to go to get these. Like, they because they don't sell them at walmart's or targets at least in my area um so yeah i'm kind of interested how people are finding them and next we have uh news of the jurassic park amber collection uh figures starting to pop up in gamestop uh and i was actually able to go over to my gamestop over the weekend and I was actually able to find the Velociraptor, but not the Imalcom. I did ask because I did put pre-orders on them. And yeah, they said that they only had the Velociraptors come in. But for some reason, they didn't have the Imalcom come in yet. Next, we have... Some people have actually been able to find the Legacy Collector Brachiosaurus at their uh targets which is very surprising because i haven't even seen the price tag label for it in any of the targets in my area so yeah but i did actually check brickseek and it seems like all of them actually are in stock um but yeah before all of you go over to target uh, and demanding that they put out the Brachiosaurus, I do want to mention that they are street dated uh, for October 6th, I think it is, which is a Sunday, so uh, yeah, I might be able to actually go and pick it up in the morning, uh, maybe early afternoon, something around then, sometime around then. Anyway, so yeah, they do have a strict street date on it. Uh, so, yeah, and if you think you're going to be able to convince the employee to just let you walk out with it and pay for it and all that, yeah, good luck. <laughs> uh, good luck trying, I guess, because, I mean, there was one time when I did that, I think for a Star Wars thing, and they just would not allow me to purchase it at all. But, yeah, anyway... So, moving on with the news, actually, I just wanted to quickly mention that it seems that the Jurassic World Live Tour has started its first shows at, uh, I think, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, so, yeah, uh, if you live in Columbus, Ohio, uh, hopefully you were able to go see the show and uh, hope it was good. So, yeah, and also we got... Big news regarding Jurassic World 3, uh, with that, uh, being that recent interviews between, uh, Sam Neill, Laura, or, Laura, uh, <laughs> Bryce Dallas Howard, and I think even Colin Trevorrow have actually kind of hinted towards the original three cast members, the original three characters, Ellie Sattler, Ian Malcolm, and, uh, Alan Grant returning to the Jurassic franchise and reprising their roles. So yeah, that'll be really interesting to see. I mean, we can, and they've actually been rumored to do more than just sit around in a courtroom for the entire film. So yeah, that'll be really exciting to see how they uh, are incorporated into this new story. And moving on from the Jurassic news to just dinosaur news, uh, more so is dinosaur news. So as some of you may know, I do also collect the Safari LTD figures, and Safari has released images of their uh, 2020 lineup, I think. 
So first, we have a Sarcosuchus uh, looking actually really good. It actually looks really good, very crocodilian-esque, which is what you'd want from a Sarcosuchus model. Next, we have a Deinonychus uh, looking very good with the feathers. Um, so yeah, that, that figure just looks really, really cool, and I cannot wait to get my hands on that. Next, we have an updated Dilophosaurus, which actually looks pretty good. Um, so, yeah, over the summer, if I go to a museum or something, I'll definitely be on the lookout for that. And also, we have been revealed a Concavenator, also looking very, very good uh, with the sculpt. And yeah, I'm actually really excited to pick this figure up as well once it comes out in 2020. Uh, so yeah, I'll definitely be on the lookout for that. Next, we have a Pachycephalosaurus looking very good, with it showing a lot of detail just from a product image. Um, but yeah, so that is really interesting. A uh, very good looking model from the looks of this and next we have a dinosaur that i have actually not heard of before it's called the chianjosaurus chianjosaurus josaurus correct me if i'm wrong down in the comments below but i'm reading off of the little pronunciation name thing so yeah i actually do not know much about this dinosaur and i definitely will have to do a little bit of research it does look like it definitely is part of the Tyrannosaur family um, due to the features that it has. But yeah, I'll definitely have to do more research. And this figure actually looks really, really good. Next, we have an Ichthyosaurus. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited to see an Ichthyosaurus. I can't remember if there was one previously released. Uh, but... Yeah, the color scheme on this one, I think, is a bit interesting. I thought they would have gone for more of a bluish, grayish tone instead of, like, this killer whale tone, or orca tone, I should say. The orca colorations and all that. Uh, I don't know, I, because I just see, like, a lot of figures, they portray, like, ichthyosaurus and mosasaurus and all that as kind of, like, this bluish, grayish tone. So yeah, I think that's interesting that they went for this color scheme. And next we have another creature that I have actually never heard of before. It's called the Shringosaurus. So yeah, another animal that I will have to do some research on. And this actually looks like a really interesting animal. Uh, and really cool as well. Uh, Safari LTD, it looks like they did a good job on this one. But we'll have to see until the final product is released. And finally, we have the Edmontosaurus. And before... Okay, you guys are probably thinking, oh, he's going to complain about the crest. I'm no longer complaining about the crest on Edmontosaurus, guys. Because I have found out that I am the Jurassic dum-dum. <laughs> um, because... The saddest part is, this is my favorite dinosaur. This is my all-time favorite dinosaur. I recently found out, because of this figure, I was just so fed up, and I was like, okay, why is this Monosaurus always with a crest now? I want to find out. I looked it up and got my answer. When I said that there was n absolutely no fossil record evidence, I obviously didn't do my research on my favorite dinosaur. And I found out that um, somewhere in Canada, Canada, somebody actually found a skin impression of the Indominus, or uh, Indominus, and Montosaurus, and actually thought that there was a bit of rock over its head and chipped it away and saw a skin impression and stopped immediately. And yeah, it, it, it was real. It's revealed to have actually had a flesh crest entirely a crust made entirely of flesh which is actually really really interesting and would which would also explain why there is no fossil uh remains of this crust because 
kind of similar to the flesh on the nose of a human, it would deteriorate over time. So, yeah, leaving no evidence, really, except for the uh, giant hole in the middle of our face. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, with that, so, I, I I think this is my source is actually looking really good, and I do want to apologize to Mattel for giving them so much hate on the Amontosaurus with the crest. When it turns out, it was just me being an idiot about the whole situation. So now, I give Mattel two thumbs up for the Amontosaurus, and yeah. Almost done with the news. Uh, this is just not really into Jurassic at all. It's just something else that I kind of like. Uh, which is the fact that the Jumanji figures have been found in Walmart. And I actually went to my Walmart and I found the grizzly bear, the tiger, the rhino, and the hippo. Uh, but yeah, we're actually seeing some that I did not see, which are the uh, four-pack with the eagle, the cheetah, the lion, and the uh, boar. Along with the rhino up top, which I did see. And the uh, jaguar... Uh, Line. <laughs> tiger and the grizzly bear. And we also get an image here of the hippopotamus with uh, Dwayne, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually really excited about these figures. And I did open up the... I did end up getting the hippo and uh, with the with the rock, and yeah, I've been playing around with that, and it, it's a cool set, and it's not bad for like fifteen bucks. Finally, uh, just one thing very far off topic from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. Another thing that I am just kind of excited about this week is tr Star Wars Triple Force Friday happening this friday uh as of recording it this this friday uh there is not going to be a midnight event going on in any in like nowhere near me <laughs> um so yeah that that's kind of a shame that i won't be able to go to a midnight event one last time uh but I still will be able to go on the day of, and I was actually thinking maybe I will take you guys with me and uh, kind of document this final um, Force Friday that we will be seeing for maybe the next couple of years as, like, they're, I, this is, like, the conclusion for now. But, yeah, I'm actually really excited about that, and I do kind of want to take you guys with me on that journey, and, yeah... Kind of brought in my horizon for the content that I provide. I know it's called the Jurassic Expert. You expect Jurassic content. But I, I don't know. I just kind of want to broaden my horizon to just things I like in general. And also it's my channel. So yeah. Um, I don't need you guys approval to post something. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. I, I do pay attention to the comments and all that. Uh, but seriously though. I still... Like, no matter what, I'll probably put this, put up the Force Friday video. Um, unless I decide, like, not to for whatever reason. Leave your thoughts and comments down below if you would actually like to see me do this. If you would actually like to see me record Force Friday. Uh, and see what I get. And with that, that is pretty much all the news that I have so far. And I just want to quickly say that the dog tag videos, uh, make sure to go like them, because if either of those videos gets 10 likes, I will get 10 more dog tags, and I might do a giveaway on the extras that I get. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I put new videos like this one. And, as always, dinosaurs might be older than you, but you are never too old for dinosaurs. Bye-bye.